Hey, what's up guys? It's been a minute, um, been like a week or two, but uh, I've been meditating a lot and discovering some new things. I've been finding out a lot about the Anunnaki, and um, the Anunnaki get a bad rap, but what I've been finding out, I actually listened to this, um, uh, to this Starseed talk about, or go into a trance channel um, through Alba Weinman and talk about the Anunnaki, and I was under the impression that the Anunnaki were these with a race of beings that were like sc sort of like space invaders, but I actually got it wrong. The Anunnaki were some of the the light being were the some of the light beings that seeded this planet originally, and they actually wound up giving technology to the wrong people, and it led to kind of this chaotic mess that our world's in right now. Um, but I've been tuning into the Anunnaki and. They're very, very present here, and they want to fix what they did wrong, um, so that we can all ascend. And um, they're so they're they're an ancient race of basically giant beings in this, and in this book, um, it looks like this. Uh, you can see that the ancient secret or uh, the ancient secret, the flower of life by uh, Drunvalo Malkizedek. Um, he talks about how the, the perfect state of a being to be in is about as far as I think as in a universal sense is like 55 to 60 feet tall. And I actually had one of the first visions that I had was seeing Odin and Odin was like this huge being that looked like he was about 60 feet tall and had a really bright golden aura about him. And, um, he was like, are you ready to, to re are you ready to go on the path or are you ready to, um, take the next leap in consciousness? And that was like a year ago. And since then I've been getting wrecked, like going down the, down the rabbit hole, so, so to speak, and rising back up and falling down and rising up, falling down. Um, but yeah, a lot of it has to do with, uh, these Anunnaki beings. Um, but what, what I'm saying, uh, is that the, the, truth about them being bad is not all incorrect um, in the sense that they incarnate as humans and then forget all of their memories but because they've they've had all this ancient data inside of them um, they can lose control um, a lot more more easily uh, than regular people and they become these they're these huge energy generators and they, these vortexes of energy that know how to manipulate um, the three or the, the fourth dimensional matrix and that's why everybody says Anunnaki are fourth dimensional it's because they can manipulate like three to three and four and 5d you know and walk um, I mean 5d w would be without the really the manipulation but when you're when you're um, an Anunnaki starseed um, then you can you start you you can affect things um, uh, I don't want to say more so than, other, than others but um, it happens and then uh yeah that's why um some of the these beings that have like schizophrenia for instance i think are probably lost star seeds that that are experiencing this multi-dimensional universe um through the eyes of a human through the eyes of a being that knows nothing in in a world that doesn't believe in things like energy or um, stuff along those lines. Uh, but yeah, another thing, um, so one really, really cool piece of information that the Anunnaki, uh, want me to share. And that, that's, that was like the, the realization that I had is these beings, there's beings in this world, this universe that want to share knowledge and give away their, their trade secrets. And there's beings that want to, um, uh, keep, keep the knowledge secret, you know, and, or, or, uh, only, like they're in service to themselves versus they're in service to others. And, um, the, the most profound thing that's happened to me, uh, as of recently is the learning the Merkaba meditation and actually learning how to do it. Um, but there's a point in meditation where you reach the, the state of being where you're the separation between your skin and the, the, the area around you ceases to exist and you feel your energy flow into like the one that's like the one source um, God consciousness aspect of the universe that you feel the consciousness layer. It's like a tangible layer that you can actually 
feel like if I hold my hand up right here I can feel and it, it starts with imagination and belief but I can feel like the space above my hand you know and um, once you do that find that reach that in meditation then you can form a Merkaba and I mean you can form a Merkaba before with just imagination but to actually feel it and make it spin which is like the key thing to to ascension um, and to, to self-realization is creating this golden aura um, uh, Metatron's cube and uh, spinning it around you and the way that I did it originally <clears throat> was that I, I did a Merkava meditation, but I didn't realize the the whole spinning aspect and being able to to spin it like really really fast is um, is the key to these higher states of consciousness. And the way that I did that was I'd chant I'm Nama, and the the I'm would start like. I'm, and then I would go down, na, ma, and create one triangle, then go, I'm, na, ma, create a triangle down on this, this side of me, and then create a triangle on, 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 like, this side of me, and then create a triangle on the bottom, and then a, uh, create another upside down um, tetrahedron to create a Metatron's cube. And then once you create that, you can feel that. And um, by by feeling it, you can actually just hold space and, and feel feel the energy of source above you, maybe like a hand. And there, if you look at the Anunnaki, there's there's uh, paintings and, and carvings of them, as well as uh, if you look at the statue, the statue in Norse mythology of uh, the god Frey, um, they have they have these pointy hats, and it looks like the hat like the, about this big. And in this book, it talks about how the the point of source right above your head is about a hand's a hand's length above your head, and that's that's where your the top of your Metatron's cube is. And if you can hold space right above that and spin spin your um, uh, spin your Merkaba from left to right and, and, and feel that space above your head, then, uh, you start like, uh, bringing in this insane amount of golden energy, this golden light, um, inside of your vessel. And, uh, you can connect with a lot of different things. Like it basically, basically connects you to, to source consciousness, um, but I, today, like you can connect with the sun, the sun in our solar system is a very big source of light and, um, but you can also connect to other things and, uh, and like I was connecting to the Pleiadian vortex today and it felt like my throat just started feeling all like vibrating and started feeling warm and I just felt this energy enter my vessel and it was, it was an amazing experience, um, to say the least. Um, but yeah, the doing that Merkaba meditation and uh, recognizing that you may be this this huge angelic source of energy, but you're also in a collective. You're in a collective energy, and that was that's been my my uh, uh, something that I've had to work on over the last few years. Is like when I first woke up, I didn't know what ascension was, or I didn't know that there were all these other beings around me that were experiencing similar things. So I thought of, um, I, I really got trapped in separation, you know, and I've, I've been, um, uh, re or re going over those lessons over and over again about, uh, reminding myself and feeling the consciousness of other beings and, and, and reminding myself that we're not separate and, uh, not alone in this universe and to recognize that and, um, to, to be one with yourself and your surroundings is like this, the, this major shift in consciousness. And when I recognized that and it was in, I'm in that state of consciousness and I do the Merkaba and spin the Merkaba, um, it puts me into this like unity with, with source and, um, it puts me in this balance and a lot of my imbalances were coming from that, that separation aspect of my mind. And, um, yeah, so, so doing that and like solidifying that Merkaba is, is really, really important. Um, so yeah, guys, give me a thumbs up more at it soon.